the impact of women on the justice system is a free and open forum hosted by the Kane County Democratic Women. The forum will explore the unique role and perspective women bring to each of their roles in the justice system. KCDW invites the public to attend. To find out more, visit kcdwomen.com, kcdwomen.com. Highlighting a story from abcnews.go.com, the women of World War II were awarded with Congress's highest civilian honor. The women who became known as Rosie the Riveter for their work in helping to lead the United States to victory during World War II were honored last Wednesday with a Congressional Gold Medal. Rosie the Riveter was the moniker given to women who went to work during World War II, taking on roles historically dominated by men. Around 5 million civilian women went to work during the war, with many helping to build equipment for the war, while around 350,000 American women served in the military, according to the U.S. Department of Defense. For WRMN 1410, I'm Ben Boquist. Theory Alt Booth, a leading local law firm, is located on the beautiful Fox River in downtown St. Charles. Here's Ryan Theory Alt. For better or worse, there are just times people need a lawyer. Whether you are involved in a work injury, in an automobile crash, selling a home, or even planning for your estate after your passing, we're here. We're local. We're part of the community. For more information, visit them on the web at tbfirm.com or give them a call at 630-526-4242. It's the time of the year where storms and inclement weather can pop up unexpectedly. If you have a generator powered by a small engine, keep it running like a top. Don't do the tune-up yourself. Let Ames Small Engine Repair at 674 Laurel Street in Elgin handle your generator. Ames can do oil changes, spark plugs, and make all the necessary adjustments. From simple tune-ups to major repairs, Ames Small Engine can do it all. Don't forget it's not too early to think about a lawnmower tune-up. Call 847-742-8750. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. The Hurricanes scored three times in the third period to beat the Blackhawks 4-2 at United Center. On Sunday, Chicago drops to 23-52-5 overall with the setback. The winless get at four. It was the fifth straight win for Carolina, who remains a point behind the Rangers in the race for the top spot in the Metropolitan Division. The Bulls wrapped up the regular season Sunday with a 120-119 loss in overtime against the Knicks in New York. The Knicks take the second seed in the East Conference while the Bulls finish ninth. They battle the Hawks this Wednesday night at United Center in a play in game. Baseball Sunday, rookie Michael Bush homered for the fourth straight game. Javier Assad struck out six, and the Cubs beat the Mariners three to two. The Reds pounded the White Sox 11 to four. Chicago scored a major league low 34 runs. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon Pull Apart. At participating U.S. Wendy's, Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon Franchise or SPD LLC. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free staples your local print and marketing expert WRMN has been serving Elgin and the Fox Valley for 75 years, featuring a combination of local news, information, and entertainment in the mornings, followed by the Radio Shopping Show for five hours each weekday. The first shift with Marky B starts your morning at 6 a.m., and it's always fun when Larry Jones is a part of the show. Maybe we need to get a radio intern in to help. Maybe so. Somebody that you won't have to pay and you can treat them tough. I can haze them. Can't haze. You'll get fired. <laughs> Remember that guy from Northwestern? Yeah. Gone. Did he really do it? You don't have to really do it. If someone what he says you did? Yeah. Good enough. Maybe I'm going to accuse you of hazing me. I don't have to prove it. <laughs> and then there will be a lot of people that Woodward come out of the and say that say, I also I, hazed I remember him. when Mark hazed me. I've been hazed. <laughs> Mark hazed me back in 2012. 2012. I remember in Memphis one time. He was really mean to me. 
<laughs> it's first shift fun and information in the morning combined with the radio shopping show to save you money and you get it right here on WRMN AM 1410 WRMN 1410 radio on Facebook and WRMN 1410.com Welcome to Out to Lunch here on this Monday afternoon, live from Studio 14 in downtown Elgin on a glorious day outside, 68 degrees on a Monday, and winds northeast at 5, gusting to about 17. That's not too much of a gust. Welcome to this hour of the the, um, Out to Lunch program, which will go from now until 2. And uh, my name is Mark. I'll be with you for the first hour. Sonar is in the house, and he'll be joining me in a little while and taking over in the second hour of the program and uh, we're looking for a uh, great uh, show today and a great rest of the day here at WRMN if you want to stop by our Redemption Center you can our uh, offices are open now and we're at 14 Douglas Avenue here in downtown Elgin Uh, come on by and see us or order from the radio shopping show by calling Matt at 847-741-7700 Right now, WRMN News Time is 12.07. It's Monday. It's April 15th. It's tax day. You ready? Have you filed your taxes? It is 12.07. Let's check some local news. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by the U.S. Postal Service. In two weeks' time, the highly anticipated Senior Health and Wellness Fair will be taking place at Elgin Community College, located at 1700 Spartan Drive in Building E from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The date to mark is Friday, April 26th, and admission is absolutely free. The next Neighborville Planning and Zoning Commission meeting will be held at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, April 17th. The agenda is now available on the City of Naperville website, And you can watch the meeting on the City of Naperville website and various television outlets. The Illinois Department of Transportation commences springtime resurfacing operations for U.S. 34 and Ogden Avenue, stretching from Shandrew Drive to North Aurora Road. The project also includes reconstruction of sidewalk ramps and minor signal modifications. The work gets underway today, and the schedule is designed to minimize disruption to traffic. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Hi, this is Quentin. And this is Brianna. A little thing we love about Chick-fil-A chicken strips are how satisfying they are. The chicken strips are amazing. They're always filling, tender and juicy. Definitely one of my favorite things on the menu. My favorite thing is the last bite. The last bite is nice and juicy, and it's wrapped up in some crispy breading that keeps it nice and tasty. And being able to scoop up my Chick-fil-A sauce with it, it's just like the best part of the meal. It's an undefeated combo. Order the chicken strips on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you're always looking for ways to position your operation to create opportunities and move on them faster. With Bank of America, you get access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2024, Bank of America N.A. All right, welcome to... This hour of Out to Lunch here on a Monday here at WRMN. Hey, don't forget, on Friday, we're going to have uh, hour one of Out to Lunch. We'll be on the, the road, not very far from here, but you're invited to come on and see us at Rediscover Records. Uh, we're going to debut a new show uh, that'll be a part of our Out to Lunch program. Um, 75 years of music to celebrate 75 years of WRMN being on the air. Steve Thorin, Elgin City Councilman and host of a couple of other radio shows on this station, the Senior Community Spotlight Show in Elgin Time, is going to spin some records. He and I are going to go over some music history every Friday on the show, and that'll be, uh, you know, an, uh, an opportunity for us to lighten up the load a little bit on a Friday and enjoy ourselves playing some records, playing some vinyl. And this Friday, we're going to play some vinyl from Rediscover Records. They're all about vinyl. And they're all about National Music Store Day, which is coming up this Saturday. So what better time to have a radio show to preview that? Rich Wagner heads up Rediscover Records, and uh, I'm sure we'll have Rich uh, join us for a little bit on Friday during that hour. Steve will play some records. I'll be a part of the show. 
uh, come on by and see what Rediscover Records has to offer. That's this Friday, noon to one, right here on WRMN. Um, a lot of times during this program, when we're here in studio, I offer up some First Shift 411. It's brought to you by Columbia College of Missouri, Elgin Campus, intent in their commitment to open doors and support those who strive for excellence. Too many people have been made to feel that higher education is not a place for them. It's someone else's dream. It's not true. Columbia College of Missouri has changed that perception. With individualized attention and ongoing support, Columbia College knows a future built by you is a future built for you. Columbia College of Missouri, Elgin Campus. Check them out at ccis.edu. That's ccis.edu. Well, I'm going to introduce my first bit of First Shift 411 for you right now, and then I'll save the rest for the end of the show. And that's because we're going to have a guest in about 20 minutes here on the show. And Nicole Wheatley is her name, and she uh, is with a Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin. See she, Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin. And they have a drug-free dash coming up this Saturday. It starts at 8 a.m. Sponsored by Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin and the Elgin Township. It's a 5K run and a two-mile walk. It all starts at 8 o'clock. And a race begins north of the Gail Borden Library here in uh, the downtown Elgin area at 270 North Grove Avenue. And... Let's see. It is a $5 for runners and walkers ages 20 and under. So if you want to bring the kids, $5 for runners and walkers ages 20 and under. And um, I'm not sure what the asking price is for those over 21. It was 30 bucks until the 31st of March. It might be a little higher now. But we'll find out at 1230 with Nicole Wheatley. And we'll let you know how you can sign up if you want to be a part of this two-mile walk. And basically two mile run. What? That's about, well, it's actually 3.1 miles is a 5K, right? The drug free dash coming up this Saturday morning and it starts at 8 o'clock. We're going to talk about it for a few minutes at about 12.30 today during Out to Lunch. It is uh, 12.13. Let's check the forecast and then get into some news stories for a little bit here. It is gorgeous outside, 68 degrees this hour. And we're heading for a high of at least 75 today. Increasing clouds with a low of 48 tonight. Showers in the forecast for tomorrow. Showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm. A high of 67 with an 80% chance of some Tuesday rain. Tomorrow night, showers and possibly a thunderstorm. A 100% chance we're going to get some rain tomorrow night. A low of 60, so a very warm overnight low. We actually ran the air conditioning for a while yesterday. Came back from our little camping trip and the house was hot, which is kind of crazy. But uh, we'll be going back to windows. We just had to cool off the house for a minute after an 81 degree Sunday. Uh, Tomorrow, I mentioned 67. Wednesday, we're looking at a high of 68. The rain should let up early Wednesday morning. And then the rest of the week a little bit cooler. Thursday, clouds and sun mixed together with a high of 61. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looking like sunshine-filled days with highs in the mid-50s each day. Friday through Sunday, low temperatures at night, upper 30s to around 40. So if you have your plants outside, you may want to think about that a little bit. Later on this week, you may want to pull them in just to make sure. Upper 30s around 40 for the Overnight low on Friday night and Saturday night. Right now we're at 68 here in the noon hour. It is 1215 here at WRMN. In the news, let's start with a story from the Courier News this hour. District U46 has agreed to buy the David Cook property just north of downtown and they're going to put a new elementary school in its on the property. They apparently are paying $2.4 million for the property. This article from Mike Danahy. 
School District U46 plans to spend $2.4 million to buy the David C. Cook Publishing House property and put a new elementary school there. School board members are expected to approve the deal next Monday to purchase the 850 North Grove Avenue site as well as sell a vacant school building in Streamwood for $1.2 million. Under the Cook proposal, the district would have a 120-day due diligence period before the sale is finalized, and the publishing company would be allowed to lease its building through January of next year. The district will use the lease time to have the new school designed. The purchase is part of the Unite U46 initiative, under which the district's oldest buildings are being retired and replaced with modern schools. Sixth grade students are being moved into the same middle school buildings as seventh and eighth graders. Early learning programs are being added to some elementary schools and all school buildings are being evaluated and improved. The school will be built on the 9.2 acre Cook site. It will replace McKinley Elementary School, which is at 258 Lovell Street, about four blocks away from the new school property. McKinley was built in 1887 on a 2.4 acre lot. It will close at the end of the 26-27 school year and be demolished. Steve Fitzgerald, president of the Northeast Neighborhood Association, Nina, said uh, U46 staff have offered to meet with residents to discuss the project prior to next week's board vote. This seems like a pretty good idea to me. That property needs to be put to better use and it's a nice property right along um, Grove Avenue there. Why not put a school there? A new school. The 120-year main, uh, old main building was empty for more than 25 years before being demolished in 2021 when no buyer could be found. Wow, has it been three years already? That's crazy. Cook currently operates a shipping warehouse on the property, the last vestige of what had been a large Christian publishing house headquartered in Elgin since 1882. The company relocated its main offices to Colorado in 1995. The south end of the property is across from the Elgin Riverside Club, which could be interesting. The Riverside Club is on Lincoln Avenue. And um, there's a little bit of a situation that's going to have to be dealt with as far as that goes because the understanding of the state law is that a school building shall not be located within 100 feet of an establishment with a liquor license, which the Riverside Club has. So they'll be close over there. I'm sure they can come to some arrangement. The district will take this into consideration as they work with architectural partners on the conceptual design, said Carla Jimenez with the school district. As for the former Woodland Heights Elementary School at 900 South Park Boulevard in Streamwood, the district is planning to publish a notice of intent to sell for $1.2 million. So uh, we look forward to that in the next couple of years. A new school over there sounds like it's probably going to happen. It is uh, st uh, 1219 here at WRMN, 1219. Uh, good morning or afternoon, rather, to Wendy of Wendy and the Bobs, who says, a beautiful day out there. Yes, it is. Dad and son do it all are on YouTube. You can be, too, if you want to go to WRMN Radio on YouTube. That's at WRMN Radio on YouTube. Subscribe to us, like us, follow us. Dad and son do it all are Northwest Wes and Northwest Wesley Jr. the second. Junior the second is in school, as he should be. Welcome lunch shifters. Hope your day is going well, says Northwest Wes. And uh, Wendy of Wendy and the Bob says Stevie A, our old friend, passed away. Um, and uh, and her, Wendy, I believe, went to that school that's going to be demolished. McKinley. McKinley, of course, will be the, the moved, I guess, moved over to the new location. We'll see if it has the same name. It is 1220 here at WRMN on a Monday. So go to YouTube if you want to say hi. Our phone lines are always open during the show, too, at 847-931-1410. 
Sonar can take a radio shopping show order in the second hour if you want to call him. If you want to order now, you can call Matt over in Redemption at 847-741-7700. 847-741-7700. It is 1220. And let's go on with a few more news stories, and then I'll take a break, and we'll bring in our guest, Nicole Wheatley, to talk about the drug-free dash coming up. All right, quite a few stories in this morning to take a look at. I mentioned shots fired. Um, let's see. So we had three shots fired in Elgin, it looks like in about an hour's time. And they happened early on Saturday morning. And I guess they are related. So this is something interesting. I guess it was determined that they are related. So there must be some reason for the police to, to know who must be responsible then. We'll see if there's an arrest made as the week unfolds. It all started on Saturday morning at 1224 a.m. Elgin officers responded to the 300 block of Adams Street for a report of shots fired. Upon arrival, they confirmed that shots fired had occurred. And then, about 25 minutes later, at 1249 and at 1 o'clock in the morning, officers responded to two more shots fired. One on the 300 block of Ryerson, the other on the 800 block of North Lyle. Also determined to be related to the original shots fired on the 300 block of Adams. So detectives from the Major Investigations Division are actively investigating the incidents. If you have any information, call 847-289-2600 or text a tip by sending a message to 847-411. That's 847 289 2600 or text a tip, send a message to 847 411. Include Elgin PD in the beginning of the text along with the message and or tip information. Three shots fired within about 35 minutes of each other in Elgin early, early Saturday morning. So it'll be interesting to hear more about that. And really, uh, those three shots fired were not in the same area. One was on Adams. Ryerson, which is a few minutes from Adams, right? And then the other one on North Lyle, which is over on the west side, a little further, um, over by the Jewel and um, over by Eagle Heights, right? So all of that happened uh, within about 35 minutes early Saturday. 1223 here at WRMN. Well, we had an unfortunate, deadly, drunken driving crash. It appears to be. I can't confirm that for sure, but it sounds uh, like it was, and police say alcohol may have been involved. A man killed. Another was critically injured in a single vehicle crash near Antioch late last night. Lake County Sheriff's deputies dispatched to the crash Seen near North Avenue and Deep Lake Road about 10.45 p.m. 25-year-old Antioch man, authorities say, was driving a 2022 Ford F-350 pickup west on North Avenue, was pronounced dead at the scenes. The driver was pronounced dead. An autopsy is being scheduled by the Lake County Coroner's Office. 27-year-old Antioch man who was a passenger in the pickup was transported to Advocate Condell Medical Center critical condition. Have not heard any more word since this story on his condition. Life-threatening injuries. Investigators said the pickup was speeding when it left the road for unknown reasons. It collided with several traffic signs. It rolled multiple times and finally struck a tree. Authorities said the driver exited the vehicle and then collapsed. So he survived it enough to exit the vehicle, but then his body gave out, I guess. Alcohol appears to be a factor in the crash, investigators say. The crash remains under investigation. 1225 here at WRMN. All right, let's see what Northwest West is saying here, if I can make it out. My chat room's a little bit 
hard to get to the bottom two of here, so I guess I can't make it out at the moment. But thanks for checking in, Northwest Wes. Um, it is 1225 here at WRMN. i got time for one more story, then I'll take a break, and we'll have our guest in. They'd love to hear from you from the IRS today. It's tax day, you know. And I know well. I know well because I've talked to Doris Whitaker, who handles my taxes for me. Thank you again for working on that for me this year, Doris. I've had to talk to her this morning because we're filing today. And on this tax day, the IRS is promoting the customer service improvements that the, the agency rolled out since receiving tens of millions in dollars in new funding through the Democrats' Inflation Reduction Act. From cutting phone wait times to digitizing more documents and improving the Where's My Refund tool to show more account details in plain language, agency leadership is trying to bring attention to what's been done to repair the agency's image as an outdated and maligned tax collector. The promotion also in part is meant to quickly normalize a more efficient and effective IRS before congressional Republicans threaten another round of cuts to the agency. So time is of the essence for both taxpayers and the agency this season. For most people, April the 15th today is the last day to submit tax returns or to file an extension. And the IRS says it has received more than 100 million tax returns. Tens of millions expected to be finaled uh, today, I guess. The IRS says uh, call wait times have been cut down to three minutes this tax season compared with the average of 20 minutes just two years ago. That has saved taxpayers 1.4 million hours of hold time and the agency has answered 3 million more calls compared with the, new, with the same time frame two years ago. Also an updated Where's My Refund tool giving more specific information about taxpayers' refunds in plain language was rolled out to 31 million views online this year. So I think they're trying to make it where very soon it'll be easy for you to file your own, to own taxes straight through the IRS and not necessarily have to go through a third person or a third party to get the job done for you. I know you can file your own taxes now, but uh, this might make it easier. 1228 here at WRMN. We're halfway through hour one of... Out to lunch today, and we're sitting close to 70 degrees. We're heading for a high about 75. I have a guest, Nicole Wheatley, who's in the green room. I'm going to go grab her, and we'll let you know about the big drug-free dash coming up this weekend and get some information about that next right here on WRMN on this beautiful Monday afternoon. This is Out to Lunch. Thanks for listening. Oh no, I just hit that post and my car's got a dent. Uh Uh-oh, better get Mako. Oh yeah? Where are they? Mako is America's body shop. They're the world's largest provider of paint and collision services. They're located at 212 Western Avenue in Carpentersville, across from Spring Hill Mall. I've used them. Check out my car. Wow, looking good. Everything was so easy and affordable. Hummer and staff were super friendly and really knew their stuff. I'm going to call them now. Mention WRMN 1410 at the Carpentersville Mako and receive 10 percent off today. What's the best way to get rid of a timeshare that you don't want? Call the Timeshare Exit Hotline. We're a group of attorneys that help customers legally exit their timeshares. It's an easy process. We guarantee results or you pay nothing. Exit your timeshare today. Call now. 800-890-5957. 800-890-5957. That's 800-890-5957. A recent Gallup poll indicated that 38% of Americans are putting off health care because of financial concerns, the highest ever recorded. I'm Dr. Bob Martin, here to serve you every Sunday afternoon from 1 to 4. Millions of Americans are seeking health advice that will not cost an arm and a leg, so I offer health tips and advice absolutely free. Listen to my show, Sunday afternoons from 1 to 4, right here on WRMN, AM 1410 and 96.7 FM, the voice of the valley and the home of Radio Shopping Show. Come on out to the country, country donuts that is, at Route 20 and Nestler Road. They're always open. 
Donuts are made daily using only the finest ingredients to ensure freshness. Their huge variety of donuts offers something to please everyone. Country Donuts doesn't stop at offering you the best donuts. Enjoy a delicious breakfast sandwich or stop in for lunch and try a bowl of their famous chili. Need a larger or special donut order for your office? Call 847-488-1900. The Distance Social, your spot for great craft cocktails with meaningful conversation. Whether you're out entertaining a group or out for a memorable nightcap, The Distance Social is your spot for starting or ending the perfect evening. Located at 314 North River Street in beautiful East Dundee, Illinois. Go the distance and find your social at The Distance Social. Everyone has a community to lean on. A neighborhood school, kids' teams, where you worship, work, work out, or any other place or group where you choose to belong. Communities can provide support when you need it, and even when you don't know you do. Like when it comes to preventing underage drinking and other substance use. You've talked with your kids and expectations, but you're not with them every minute. Your community members, friends and relatives, teachers and coaches, faith leaders, and other important adults in your kids' lives can be your eyes, ears, and a supportive influence when you're not around, reinforcing your messages with your kids and alerting you to warning signs of underage drinking or other substance use. So talk with your kids about these issues and involve the members of your community to help keep your kids safe. Because when you talk, they hear you. Looking to get your fingers on some delicious grub? Look no further than Sticky Fingers in Carpentersville. Family owned and operated, Sticky Fingers specializes in chicken, fish, and shrimp, which you can choose to have dusted with flavor or doused in the sauce of your choice. Sticky Fingers strives to provide flavorful food with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Sticky Fingers personally invites you to stop by and try one of their scrumptious dishes today. It is the noon hour on a Monday. It is out to lunch right here on WRMN on a beautiful Monday as uh, we are right around 70 heading for a high, about 75 today. Let me transition the camera back to us. Uh, my guest was looking outside when yeah. I said it was a beautiful Monday. <laughs> <It's> so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Wheatley is with uh, me today to talk about uh, a 5K coming up on Saturday, but to talk about more than Hi, Nicole. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. It's so good to be here. Yeah, good to have you today. Um, so coming up on Saturday is uh, the Drug Free Dash, but uh, it's um, put together by you at uh, the Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin. So That's you want to just introduce yourself a little bit? Um, mm -hmm. You've been with the organization for about a year, and uh, what do you do? Okay, so I am considered the project coordinator okay. of the of the coalition, and so basically what I do is I try to coordinate um, about twelve different sectors in our in our area here in Elgin, um, who all have a common purpose to see our youth be safe and healthy, free from. Um, substance misuse and so um, we work with the Elgin Police Department and uh, businesses in the area health professionals um, the school district at U46 and parents and students and anybody that's just concerned about helping our youth to be drug free and so what I do is I kind of put together events um, are one thing like this that are considered um, alternative activities so that the, our young people can do something that is fun yeah. that's healthy that gives them a natural high um, that involves some of their passions things that they might be really interested in about and those things help provide a, a dopamine release in the brain so that they are having that feeling of being excited and happy it, it, it hits that pleasure center of the brain but it's totally um, healthy for you <laughs> there's no side effects yeah unlike marijuana 
THC derivatives, uh, nicotine and alcohol. So we want to help to our young people to not use substances at least until age 21 um, because the brain science shows that uh, our brains are fully developed by the time you're about 25, a little bit older for some, a little younger for others. Yeah. Um, but that's why our laws state that these substances can't be bought or used by anyone until they're 21 because that prefrontal cortex is just not formed yet and then it has a whole host of problems if they start too young yeah so if we can encourage them to find their passions and find fun things to do um that kind of provide that natural high uh then they will be looking at a much healthier life and much more um successful life ahead of them so if kids um, get into and abuse drugs uh, too young of an age, they their brain never fully develops. That's kind of what you're saying, right? That's right. If you've ever heard of the term arrested development before, it used to be a television show I think that was on at one point. Yeah. Um, and that really is a, a real term in biology, and it just means that um, you actually turn off that area of the brain. If you look at um, MRI scans and CAT scans and stuff, you can see that uh, certain areas kind of light up when they're active. Well, people that are chronically using substances, those areas are kind of like asleep. So if they're asleep during that time they're supposed to be developing, then there's no developing happening. And so they could be uh, 21, 25, 30 years old. If they started using substances at 12, 13, 14, they arrested their development during those crucial years of development and that mm. pruning process that happens and their brains will still look like a 12 13 14 year old when they're older so it's like that this part of the front part of the brain that's still developing is important for things like logic and reasoning and thinking ahead making rational decisions um you know like that risk-taking behavior and stuff that's pretty common with our young people yeah is probably there for a reason i don't know exactly why god created it that way but he did um, maybe because they go through a lot of changes when you're a teenager and you don't want to um maybe uh, stop all those exciting new things from happening because you overthink them like I do now <laughs> in, my for, in my 40s. <laughs> Something that's new is uh, nerve wracking and I might overthink it a little too much. Yeah. Whereas a young person, they just charge ahead. They're like, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's go do it. Uh, that's great for certain things, but not good if you're taking taking substances or in, being involved in other risky behavior that could damage the brain's development. Right. Yeah. Well, good. Uh, good stuff. Well, you sound smart. <laughs> what makes you so smart? You were a teacher before you got this job, right? I was. I was a biology teacher. I taught at Westminster Christian here in Elgin for three years. And then before I had my children, I taught at a school in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, we really? We still live there. So, um, yeah, I taught uh, anatomy and physiology. So that's where all that brain stuff comes in. Yeah. I've taught um, regular biology, chemistry. Wow. I've taught AP biology. So the whole gamut of the biologies <laughs> yeah. that I've taught. Well, you brought me a whole packet full of stuff. I'm just like, <laughs> trying to figure out how I could sift through it and ask you questions at the same time. Oh, my but goodness. it looks like you have lots of associations with some of the local agencies like the Well Child Center yes. and the Ecker Center mm -hmm. uh, for behavioral health. So you're just uh, involved in, in a lot of ways with these uh, these social service organizations that are, are there for people all the time, right? Yeah, exactly. So what we can, we can partner together, and that's part of the idea of being a coalition, is that uh, we're coming together with these common interests to see our young people be healthy. So Ecker is our fiscal agent and they also do, um, they have a division called ATOD or alcohol, tobacco and other drugs. They also go out and teach in schools and they work with students. They have a summer program for youth that are, I think uh, seventh grade through 12th grade. Um, they have behavioral services. So if some, if our young people are having some mental health issues or maybe they already are, are involved in substance use and they want to quit, um, these are good resources where parents can go and get some help and young people can go for help. So um, we partner together with all these different organizations and hopefully spread the word and get uh, some preventative information, education, not only for the youth themselves, but also for their parents um, because we find that and, and I am even guilty of it. I'm a biology teacher, and yet when the vaping stuff really started, I knew nothing about it. Yeah. And I didn't really understand what it was until I started working for the coalition. And then all of a sudden, I started having some more conversations with my own kids. And I'm like, I have not even talked to them about this. And my own kids um, are, well, now one is in college, one's in high school, and one's an eighth grader. And they know probably more about vaping than I did <laughs> at that mm. point because they see it right in front yeah. of them. 
So, so yeah. yeah, I mean, um, do you feel like the, I mean, maybe this isn't why you're here, but uh, the, mm -hmm. the um, awareness of vaping and, and the harm that it can cause is uh, becoming, the awareness is now at least becoming more widespread to the point where mm -hmm. maybe people who thought it was a, somehow a healthier alternative to smoking mm -hmm. are now realizing that it's not and it might start to go back in the right in the right way again? I think so. I yeah. think we are starting to see more education coming out about it because now we have some data to back it up. We, there, you yeah. know, you, we People didn't know what it was really, right? No. Yeah. I mean, you start, you, you start selling products and, and they're approved. Well, they're not, they're not FDA approved. They're not, you know, there's no regulatory kind of body really looking at a lot of these things. And, and so now the evidence kind of anecdotally, and then as well as research now starting to come out to say this, this is the damage that that these things that this is causing to our young people not only their lungs but also their brains which is you know really what we're most concerned about yeah well, you brought me brought me this little guide uh the kane county family resource guide mm, yes um what's in this guide uh, a lot of different uh, places that people can turn if they have any kind of different issues in the family that they want to, to try to address with somebody professionally yeah absolutely so i you know i haven't memorized what's in that but <laughs> but kane county is great uh they have lots of resources um, to point people in the area in the right direction that if you need mental health issues if you need uh, dental issues if you need um, help quitting smoking um, or some of the other substances then they've got some great resources for for people to use yeah, yeah. well thanks for that information yeah. and uh, so uh, what we're worried about right now is getting more people in for Saturday yeah. for the run uh, right. let's see right now I'm looking at uh, it's gonna be good running weather on Saturday yes. it's not gonna be balmy like it was this past weekend but it might be better running yes. in what kind of weather that we're gonna have this weekend Saturday Partly sunny with a high of 55. That's really good running weather right there. Yes. Although we, uh, the race does start at 8 o'clock in the morning. Right. Because so racers be like... are crazy and they want to run early. <laughs> so we'll yeah. be there. Real, some of the volunteers were going to be a little chilly. But um, I think, though, it's going to be beautiful. And last year was our first year really kind of with the new trail that we were on and um, the all the, the hard work that Ed Bates with the Elgin Lions Club did in helping us to put this together. Um, he's another one of our coalition members and knows lots lots about races so I'm very thankful to him so shout out to Ed Bates thank you for all of your expertise but he um, last year we had about 114 participants for our first year was really good and um, wow. it, it, the weather was super cold but good for runners and um, afterwards we it was dry the whole time we were racing and then the moment we had packed everything up and we were starting to drive away it started snowing really <laughs> yeah so I don't think we have to worry about that this year I no mean, we have a about 129 already that are uh, registered for Saturday. That's 45 amazing. of those are kids, so we would love to see more youth, 20 and under, that are signing up. And so if there's any parents out there listening um, or young people, tell your kids. And it's only $5 for if you're 20 and under. And you can run the race. Everybody gets a T-shirt and a medal for finishing. Nice. And then there are trophies for different categories of um, the winners, as well as special medals for the younger kids. Um, pretty much every every year or two, like seven and eight year olds, nine and 10 year olds, 11, 12, we kind of split it up into age categories so we can do the fastest in each of those. Um, it is a timed race, so everybody has a bib and uh, the racing company will time everybody and put it in categories so that we can award um, the different categories of ages so everybody will walk away with something fun <laughs> yeah and and uh, you'll be healthier and you'll be happier and you help a good cause um, that's right uh, drug free dash and you're helping the coalition for a safe and healthy Elgin mm -hmm. so it's like your your fun rate one of your fundraisers for the year right it's a little bit of a fundraiser idea as well although most of the fees because it's not very expensive for the race adults it's only thirty dollars now that it's April 1st, it's $35 okay. if you're an adult and you want to run. Um, but a lot of that pays for T-shirts and yeah. it helps us with all the costs of running it. So we don't, we're don't, we not making like a lot of money. Anything that we do make can be saved to put into our next race or our next activity that we do. But we do provide a lot of resources um, to parents and kids at no charge. And so that helps us to be able to um, to pay for those. And we want to also give a good shout out to the Elgin Township they also gave us yeah. uh, a donated money so that we could put this on and that helped us defray costs as well. 
Yeah, the Elgin Township is involved, and yeah. uh, so that's good. Yep. And um, it starts at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. It's a 5K run, but even if you're not a runner, mm-hmm. it's a two-mile walk. So right. um, you can just walk the course, and um, yeah. And so that's a nice alternative because maybe a lot of people haven't made it to running status yet. That's right. I would be yeah. qual- I would qualify as that as well. I yeah. prefer walking. <laughs> and we even have some people bringing their dogs. So if you have a dog that's on a leash, you're welcome to come and walk. It's only $20 if you're just going to walk walk because it's only two miles but even the walkers get a t-shirt and you get a medal when you finish too <laughs> so and they're they're cute um our medals this year say on them that running is our natural high or is my natural high and um, and has the year on it and um and a little they're kind of a green color this year so i want to um also thank the illinois human performance project they were another group that's helping us out with the race um, they designed the sticker that's on the medals as well as they're going to have some educational opportunities after the race for the students so there's going to be um, about four posters that are going to be up in our tent and students come by with a crossword puzzle and they get to learn some facts about chemical health mental health nutrition and sleep and and, um, fill out this uh, crossword puzzle and then they can get some prizes too so a yeah. little educational opportunity as well as a fun health healthy activity so how do people get in I see on the flyer here um, I mean if you have any questions you can call 224-407-2209 that's 224-407-2209 um, or you can send a text or a voicemail to s a c s h elgin at gmail.com csh elgin at gmail.com but to sign up um you probably need to go to a website more than likely right yep if you go to our website um at c it's also like the same part it looks like c shelgin yeah. <laughs> elgin dot org and then go to the events page there's a link on there um if you go if you happen to see our facebook page we have um, the flyer on facebook and you can use the qr code um, or you can go to the elgin lions club uh, website they also have a drug free dash tab and that takes you to the the link to sign up cool so lots of places you could go so just north of uh the uh, Gailborn Library is where it's going to start at 270 Grove Avenue, and you're going to run north, and then you're going to come back and run south, right? It's going to be right. pretty straight ahead and come back kind of run. Yeah, that's right. It's um, You can park in the Elgin uh, Library. They have allowed us to use their parking lot because it's so early in the morning, and as well as you can go inside the building for bathrooms. And then it, kind of like at where... Um, Grove and McBride, right at the corner there. McBride is kind of like a little access road. That's kind of where the start is going to be. And then you're going to come back on the trail um, to finish up. If you're walking, you'll go a mile and a mile back. And if you're running, like a mile and a half and a mile and a half for approximately. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, cool. That sounds great. Uh, we do have a phone call. Um, awesome. If you have any questions uh, sure. for Nicole, you can call us. Uh, 847-931-1410 is the number to call. I got the chat room up. I don't see any new comments. I'm hoping I'm not missing any, but I've been struggling with the chat room here this hour for whatever reason. But uh, let's take a quick phone call. You might have to have the headsets on or at least over your ears in, okay. in, in hopes that this question's for you. Let's find out. Um, good afternoon. Welcome to Out to Lunch. And they hung up on us, Nicole. Oh, no. That is not right. They waited through all that <laughs> just to hang up on us. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Well, anyway, well, thanks for being here today. Anything else you want to see about uh, the Coalition for Safe and Healthy uh, Elgin before we let you go today? No, just uh, um, I'm appreciative for the chance to work with the young people in Elgin and parents. And so if you ever have any questions, um, you need some support, parents especially, on how to talk to your kids about substance use or what do you do if if your youth is using, feel free to contact us at the coalition and we'll point you in the right direction and that's is that the phone number that i gave yep you can use that phone number or email through the c s h elgin dot uh dot gmail sorry at gmail.com i see how you try to use the the letter e twice <laughs> yes it gets a little hard to say then <laughs> yeah it's c she legin or c s h elgin uh whichever way gmail. you want to do it yeah. uh at gmail.com and the phone number is two two four four zero seven twenty two oh nine and again the website for signing up for the 5k is it's cshelgin.org yeah okay yeah. well thanks so much for the time good luck with the race uh 
Yeah. If I stay in town, I may run it that Saturday okay. morning. Okay. Yeah. Come on over. I got, I got a few more days to decide and sign up. Right. Thirty-five bucks. Thirty-five dollars. Okay. Yep. Get a t- really cool T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. And we got our sponsors on the back, Elgin Township, as well as uh, we had another one come in as a sponsor called Dos Galos Landscaper. So. Oh, cool. They also gave us an, an, a little help there for the race and uh, and then we have all of our coalition partners oh and um, healthy healthy together nutrition bar in Elgin they're gonna come and provide some a little um, like sample size of these refreshers for kids yeah and so they they're a nutrition bar and they're yummy <laughs> they've been <laughs> open about a, a year so they're coming to give us some free free samples for the kids yummy nutrition bars yes yeah, actually, it can like, happen it's called a nutrition bar but it's a, a drink that they make it's oh a, it's a um, Kind of like those uh, maybe Starbucks refreshers or something like that, but like a healthier version. Huh. Cool. <laughs> They're tasty. I tried them. Well, and thanks. they have fun flavor, colors too. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for coming in today. Yes, thanks for having me. We'll finish up hour one of uh, Out to Lunch in just a couple of moments right here on WRMN. Clocking out? Drive home with the Drive Time Deal with Matt McNeil on WRMN 1410 AM every weekday from 3 to 6 p.m. I bring you the hottest deals in town, the most intriguing stories, and the tracks that take the edge off rush hour. Tune in on 1410 AM. Catch us on YouTube Live at WRMN Radio or stream through our app. I've got the wheel to steer your evening right. WRMN 1410 AM, your home of radio shopping and the soundtrack to your commute. Rise and shine, Fox Valley listeners. It's time to kickstart your day with First Shift with Marky B on WRMN 1410 AM. From 6 to 9 AM, join the chatter that gets you clued in with the latest buzz around town. Don't just sip on your coffee. Let Marky B brew your morning with a perfect mix of news, views, and moves. Dial us in or live stream at WRMN1410.com and make your mornings a whole lot brighter. WRMN 1410 AM. We're the voice of the valley, and we're here to talk. For exceptional home-cooked meals, visit the longest family-owned restaurant in Elgin. Paul's Family Restaurant at Lawrence and McLean takes pride in their fresh daily specials like steaks, fish, pasta, soups, and more. Paul's fresh buttermilk pancakes and breakfast skillets are phenomenal. As you walk in, you can't help but notice owner Elaine's wonderful eye for detail. The toughest decision you'll have to make is what size leftover box to take home. Call 847-695-8687. How many times have you heard about or driven past the Volo Auto Museum and still haven't checked it out? They have over 200,000 square feet of heated showrooms filled with countless collections of the most amazing mechanical marvels in the world. From incredible collector cars, movie cars, trains, boats, and planes, to a Disney gallery, dinosaurs, vintage arcades, kiddie rides, and a medieval torture exhibit, plus the Titanic Museum. They're open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Visit volofun.com. This is McGruff the Crime Dog, and I need you to help me take a bite out of crime. Counterfeit products are popping up everywhere. Fake sneakers, fake cosmetics, and even fake pills. Crooks are selling counterfeit versions of just about everything. Last year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit products were sold in the U.S. Sure, it may seem like saving a few bucks on the things you want isn't a big deal, but counterfeits are usually made in unsafe conditions potentially using hazardous and even lethal ingredients that could harm you and others. And the money you've paid, it goes right into the hands of criminals and may support child labor, drugs, and even gangs. (sighs) Smells like big crime to me. So if you still think buying fake products is harmless, think again. And remember, if you don't know where the products came from, how could you know where the money goes? You're smart, buy smart, go for real. Learn more at mcgruffpsa.org. This message is brought to you by the United States Patent and Trademark Office and the National Crime Prevention Council. back for the final couple minutes of hour one of the show out to lunch here at wrmn you see camera one and camera two camera two's got nobody sitting there because nicole has departed but uh, good interview good chat she's chatty and she's very friendly nicole wheatley from coalition for a safe and healthy elgin and the big 
5K coming up this weekend, and uh, I need to I need to run in a 5K to practice for my next 5K. Is that a good enough excuse to try to get in? I might run this weekend. We'll see how that works out. 12:55 here at WRMN as we close up the show. Got about three and a half minutes to share a couple of more bits of information with you. We'll take a top of the hour news break. Sonar will come back for the second hour. Uh, Wednesday night, it's an interesting night over at the Elgin Township building. We mentioned the township, one of the supporters of uh, the run, the drug-free dash, coming up Saturday. Um, On Wednesday at the Elgin Township building, they're going to have a damn discussion. Lots of damn discussions going on right now. Uh, Dam removal information for South Elgin and Elgin. 6.30 Wednesday night. Receive unbiased, fact-based information relating to impacts if the South Elgin and Elgin dams are removed. Regarding flooding, wildlife, property values, and water quality. Presented by Art Malm an environmental engineer with 50 years experience in civil and environmental engineering, public water supply and water pollution control, and he's also a riverfront property owner, Art is. Additional presentation contributors will be Elgin Mayor Dave Captain and South Elgin Village President Steve Ward. So Mayor Captain, Steve Ward, both gonna be there from Elgin and South Elgin respectively, and Art Malm, will be the speaker. Uh, the Elgin Township building, of course, is at 729 South McLean Boulevard. Uh, please RSVP if you'd like to go, and the phone number to RSVP is 847-741-2045. That's uh, 847-741-2045. Downtown Jose rides his bike by the radio station. Have a great day, Jose. 1257 here at WRMN. And uh, this Saturday night is the Elgin History Museum fundraiser, uh, the big gala. If you're interested in that, it's uh, going to be a good time. The Roaring Twenties is uh, the theme. And if you're interested, go to elginhistory.org. It's going to be at the Holiday Inn at 495 Airport Road. It's from 530 until 10 Saturday night, so it's not a real late night. And uh, it's uh, 5.30 until 10 Saturday night, 495 Airport Road. And uh, to sign up, again, go to elginhistory.com, I believe, uh, elginhistory.org, rather. 75 bucks if you're a museum member, $90 for the general public. Dinner, drinks, entertainment, and you support the museum. Cocktail reception, cash bar, the Wald- uh, Waldorf Astoria-inspired buffet menu, and a silent auction. And a live auction with special guest auctioneer. He's everywhere. He's Steve Thorne. He will be the special guest auctioneer on Saturday night. So that is happening this Saturday night over at the Holiday Inn at 495 Airport Road. All right, I think we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to tell you about this uh, uh, birthday of a 100-year-old veteran coming up Friday afternoon tell you about another 5k going on next saturday the 27th all on tomorrow's first shift 411 that'll take place in the 715 segment tomorrow morning on the show that's the first shift tomorrow morning from six until nine sonar is on the way in here next matt's in redemption call him at 847-741-7700 and enjoy the sunshine on this beautiful monday keep it on wrmn For local information and fun times in the mornings, listen to Marky B. and Larry Jones on the first shift. Maybe we need to get a radio intern in to help you. Maybe so. Somebody that you won't have to pay and you can treat them tough. I can haze them. You can't haze. You'll get fired. (laughs) Remember that guy from Northwestern? Yeah. Gone. Did he really do it? You don't have to really do it. If somebody says you did, good enough. Maybe I'm going to accuse you of hazing me. I don't have to prove it. (laughs) It's the first shift, weekdays from 6 to 10 a.m. right here on WRMN. Keep informed with everything that's going on with the Radio Shopping Show by joining our VIP text club today. All you have to do is text the message WRMN1410 to the number 94253 and you're in. You'll receive timely information about shopping show specials instantaneously as they happen. Message and data rates may apply. The voice of the valley and the home of the Radio Shopping Show, we are WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. 
Your hometown radio station since 1949. We are WRMN AM 1410 Elgin time. One o'clock. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Sky Rizzi. Explore proven results with Sky Rizzi. The next Naperville Planning and Zoning Commission meeting will be held at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, April 17th. The agenda is now available on the City of Naperville website, and you can watch the meeting on the City of Naperville website and various television outlets. The Illinois Department of Transportation commences springtime resurfacing operations for U.S. 34 and Ogden Avenue, stretching from Shandrew Drive to North Aurora Road. The project also includes reconstruction of sidewalk ramps and minor signal modifications. The work gets underway today and the schedule is designed to minimize disruption to traffic. In two weeks' time, the highly anticipated Senior Health and Wellness Fair will be taking place at Elgin Community College, located at 1700 Spartan Drive in Building E from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The date to mark is Friday, April 26th, and admission is absolutely free. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Hi, this is Quentin. And this is Brianna. A little thing we love about Chick-fil-A chicken strips are how satisfying they are. The chicken strips are amazing. They're always filling, tender and juicy. Definitely one of my favorite things on the menu. My favorite thing is the last bite. The last bite is nice and juicy, and it's wrapped up in some crispy breading that keeps it nice and tasty. And being able to scoop up my Chick-fil-A sauce with it, it's just like the best part of the meal. It's an undefeated combo. Order the chicken strips on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you're always looking for ways to position your operation to create opportunities and move on them faster. With Bank of America, you get access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2024, Bank of America N.A. Here at WRMN Radio, we try to connect with the community and discuss important issues like our current mental health crisis. Here's Lori Baker, President and CEO of AID. I think most people, when they see young children thinking about suicide at the ages of five and six and seven, I mean, that's shocking to me that children even know that they want to harm themselves somehow. Um, I know it's difficult. Um, I um, uh, definitely um, feel the pinch. We all feel the pinch. I think gas pump at the grocery store right um in our rents but um i think most people um could handle 27 cents a day to help uh, kids and seniors and people experiencing homelessness discussions like this take place on the first shift weekday mornings from 6 to 10 right here on wrmn am 1410 and wrmn 1410 radio on facebook Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Baseball Sunday, rookie Michael Bush homered for the fourth straight game. Javier Assad struck out six, and the Cubs beat the Mariners 3-2. The Reds pounded the White Sox 11-4. Chicago scored a major league low 34 runs. The Hurricanes scored three times in the third period to beat the Blackhawks 4-2 at United Center. On Sunday, Chicago drops to 23, 52-5 overall with the setback. The winless get at four. It was the fifth straight win for Carolina, who remains a point behind the Rangers in the race for the top spot in the Metropolitan Division. The Bolts wrapped up their regular season Sunday with a 120-19 team loss in overtime against the Knicks in New York. The Knicks take the second seed in the Eastern Conference while the Bulls finish ninth. They battle the Hawks this Wednesday night at United Center in a play-in game. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull-apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts. Until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull-apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon pull-apart. Participating U.S. Wendy's Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon Franchise or SPD LLC. If you need 
bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget. Think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. Taqueria Las Cumbres, Crystal Lake's authentic Mexican restaurant on Grant Street is open for carryout. For over 15 years, Taqueria Las Cumbres has been serving up all of your favorite Mexican dishes and doing it better than the rest. Recently voted the best in McHenry County. Stop in and carry out the authentic taste of Mexico and see for yourself. Support local for lunch and dinner today and place an order from Taqueria Las Cumbres. Call 815-455-8200 for Taqueria Las Cumbres of downtown Crystal Lake. Hailing from Tanzania, you'll be thrilled to see the Zuzu African Acrobats celebrate the 2,000-year-old Bantu culture of East Africa. The Zuzu Acrobats have performed on America's Got Talent, and you can see their incredible acrobatics and energizing African drumming, singing, and dancing this Saturday at 4 at the Egyptian Theater in DeKalb. Each performance has incredible gravity-defying stunts while displaying the grace, beauty, and strength of the African culture. Visit EgyptianTheater.org. Welcome back to Out to Lunch. My name is Inna Sonar Green. I will take you through the remaining hour of Out to Lunch. Out to Lunch with WRMN, WRMN1410.com. If you want any more of that information, that sweet, sweet information, that's right, WRMN can be taken out to lunch, not just through um the am airwaves we've also got apps that are out there in the world the tune in app or the wrmn app itself again wrmn1410.com is another great place to do it or if you ever see one of those handy dandy super smart speakers that are sitting over there you just look at it and say smart speaker play wrmn and sure enough it will fire right up. Don't forget that WRMN is the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, but it is also the home of radio shopping. Radio shopping can be done 24 hours a day at WRMN1410.com. Check out the daily deals. They're at the top. You can click on it, get over there, and it'll tell you those daily deals. Also, the Redemption Center is open right now. 16 Douglas, come on over down to Elgin and come and talk to Matt McNeil. Matt McNeil has a fantastic show in the drive time. That's the drive time deal with Matt McNeil uh, from 3 to 6. But right now, he is in the Redemption Center there for both the face-to-face -face, uh, type of things that you need, but also here for your phone calls. Uh, the Redemption Center is 847-741-7700, and he'll help you get that daily deal. Let me tell you a little bit about the daily deal to maximize your tax refund. That's right. It's tax day. Shop the radio shopping show and uh, with savings of 40, 50, or 60% more, you can stretch your refund and enjoy life twice as much. Today's deal, spend $15 because it's the 15th and unlock the $2 list. If you spend $15 with it, you'll then unlock the $2 list, the Freddy Custard, uh, Kids Treat, or a Custard, K and Joe's Eats and Sweets, Scooby's Hot Dogs in West Chicago, Nick's Pizza in Crystal Lake or Elgin, Vinny's Pizza, IHOP, Mama Lee's, and so much more on that $2 list. All you got to do is spend $15, but don't forget, if you spend at least $10, we'll make sure that you get uh, a bingo card that you can use on game day, April 26th. That's coming up not very long away. Uh, speaking not very long away, we've got a caller coming in right now. Hello, caller. How are you today? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. What can I do for you today, caller? Hi. Um, I'm checking to see if you have um, any 
oil change certificates. Oh, oil change certificates. Give me just one moment. Let me pull it up over here. Uh, you have uh, a light come on? Because I know I just did. No, my light didn't come on, but I know I'm due for an oil change. <laughs> Do you usually get it uh, uh, real quick? Are you one of those people that's like, okay, I've only got 100 miles left. I need to make nope. sure that I do it now. I'm not even one of those people. I just, I'll just, i just keep checking it until until I, because I'll forget. Uh -huh. And I'll keep checking it or have my son check it, and we'll add some oil until I get my certificate or until I go get it done. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm that same kind of way. I know I'm pushing at least 150 miles over. Shame on me. I should be uh, I should be taking it a little bit more serious, but let's see here. We've got oil changes. Let me go ahead and look it well, up. Well, I'm I'm about as bad as you. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's see here. Honest One Auto Care in South Elgin. I have a fifteen dollar. Let me look at that real quick for you. Um, okay. That is. A $30 certificate that I can get uh, to you for 15 This is a general shop certificate. can be used for an oil change or any other repair or maintenance service on your vehicle. Honest One Auto Care is located at 660 North LaFox Street um, in South Elgin. Uh, let's see here. Tax and disposal fees are not included. Uh, but we've got that. Uh, you can get it now, and I'll tell you what, it's even better. It expires in 90 days after you get it. Um, so you've got plenty of time to squeeze a few more miles out of that change. Okay, well, I'm going to actually take it today. I usually get them, and they're usually for honest ones. So oh, I'm going to go on and, and take it. You do have my file on card. I can give you my number. Yeah. Um, do you want to? Are you going to come in today? I am. Why don't you come in today and have a nice chat with Matt? He'll be able to fulfill all of that for you right there. All righty. And you closed at 2 today? Say again. What time do you close today? 3 o'clock. 3. Oh, God, your hours changed. We Thank did God. change, we did change a little hour. bit, but you've got an extra hour if you thought we closed at 2. So uh, good news on that. Okay. I'll probably be there within the next 20 minutes. Oh, that's fine. Come and wave at me. I'll still be on the air. All righty. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Enjoy that change and a dr nice drive today. A nice drive out. Uh, time to get some things done. Be out and about. Um, hopefully this is the spring, but you know it's always going to rear its head around um, at any time. But it's always good to make sure that you've got uh, the preparedness that's going there. And without further ado, I've left him on the screen for way too long. Um, that would be my amazing executive producer, Ben Demonium Boquest. Thank you, sir, for being here with me today. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah, no, thanks for having me on. Uh, great uh, start to the show. Get a caller right away. And, uh, yeah, we've got oil change stuff. How cool is that? What other radio show are you going to listen to? Be able to call in, and they're going to give you 15 bucks off an oil change. What? That's amazing, it's right? Awesome. Love it. Right? That's that's. That's what I always like about about the radio shopping stuff, because, it, again, I, I'm just talking out of experience because I, I use it. I, I, I use it. It's, it's the old uh, but I'm also a member type of type of thing with it. But it's okay. it's true. I, I use it that way that I can get those extra uh, those extra miles that are off, too. We, I always talk about because, uh, I mean, the state of mind for me, I, I drive so much right now because I'm on the other side of the world, practically. Uh, to get over here for the studio. So so I look at it as saving gas, uh, saving gallons. So if, if I can save four bucks somewhere off of a thing, I just, I just saved a gallon of gas. So how many things can I stack up that I'm already going to be doing anyway? We all got to get oil pays. changs to begin everybody with, right? Everybody pays all year. All the millionaires pay everybody. What, what's all yeah. that? That's not my sound, bro. But um, yeah, that's that's how it is, man. With it's the economy of hmm. uh, of everything. I, I uh, back in the day, it used to be how much you ate, you know, how many how many figs you were able to eat in a day, and that means I could, you know, walk uh, walk to the lake or whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the the only economy people had to worry about back then, uh, nutritional. So yeah, uh, today with the, how how crazy expensive gas is, and you and I both commute. It's not fun. Uh, having long uh, drives to work and yeah, you gotta 
Got to keep up on those oil changes. Uh, <laughs> mine, uh, whenever I take a hard turn now, it's uh, I get the gauges uh, light. Mm. So uh, that's you know the 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 fun of driving a larger vehicle is you get the you really burn that oil and it starts to shift uh, when yeah when you're driving a little. Yeah, we uh, always talk about restaurants you know, and you things. Know. We always talk about restaurants and things for the for the radio shopping side, but I mean there are some other things that are out there. Like like I want to check out the axe throwing that's going on. I mean also the uh, uh, the car care that's in here. Um, I mean the the Honest Auto one that's there. More miles is on there too. So I mean there's a lot of other there's shoe repair all the way down to shoe repair, buddy. Like like if 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 you it, you had a, a floppy shoe that needed to needed to be fixed. Uh, they can do that. A cobbler, if you will. Yeah, no, I, I could I could display one right now. Actually, <laughs> I see one within an arm's reach. <laughs> Old boots, but yeah, that that's awesome. Yeah, there's from everything fun to do in Elgin to uh, stuff that you need and uh, are looking for a coupon, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a great that's resource it. for the community, and I'm glad. It's a part of our show. That's it. Um, also so, part of our uh, show yeah, what, today, what buddy, is is the uh, the tax. It's tax day, right? And um, we live in a world where we need a favorite billionaire. Everybody's got their favorite billionaire because we we trade them like cards, right? The the elites. You, we all wonder like how the, um, the the feudal system came about. How could how could somebody possibly elect a king that just beat everybody up? Well, welcome to modern capitalism with the billionaires, buddy. Um, everybody will turn around. And, oh, we'll, we'll follow. Yes, Lord. This is the king's highway, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So but my favorite billionaire, Mark Cuban, yeah. um, he has talked about the what 230 million dollars or so that he's paying in taxes and he's like yes this is this is how you get this money you have to pay taxes so that roads can be built so that families can use uh, uh and and businesses can use them and all of the different infrastructures that are out there if we don't have an educated populace then we fall short of having actual people to hire for it. So, so it's one of those things that um, nobody is a self-made um, anything. And I think Mark Cuban in, in a tweet actually kind of demonstrated that. Yeah, I saw the same thing. Uh, amazing uh, way to play it. I mean, it's such a thing in today's world to brag about not paying your taxes or evade, you know, um, however uh, uh, legal or extra legal, uh, especially um, because of how Donald Trump kind of almost seems like he campaigned on it, like such a, a great uh, smart business move. And it's mm -hmm. just so status quo for all these companies, uh, regardless of uh, Trump or their political leanings, um, to, to take those taxes off and get tremendous tax breaks uh, between uh, the stuff you've seen from for Amazon getting to write off and um, uh, Tesla is one of the other ones that uh, is famously not not a tax uh, saving a lot of money on taxes but still paying some I remember hearing about that um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah it's, it's one of those things where it, there, there should be a better way to do it to where uh, and, and other nations have it figured out. I'm not smart enough to go into <laughs> economics and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, tax day is the worst. I, I feel uh, <laughs> always uh, angry during tax season, and it's just mm. it's it's not cool. <laughs> well, not, not a fan of and, it. I, and I get it. I, I absolutely understand paying any bill that you don't see, right? You don't necessarily see the water bill. Right now, you you enjoy water at any time that you want it, but you don't necessarily understand that when I turn the faucet, oh, that was three cents. Like there's no counter that you goes <laughs> that goes on it. Like there's no um, uh, there's no potholes with little signs in them that says um, that says Ben funded this. Like there's no uh, there there's nothing along those sides. So. I absolutely understand. You just have to make Say again. You you really what you you do, you just have to make believe that like uh, you know that 
yeah, that pothole got filled or, <laughs> and then it, it upsets you then when you, you run into those issues where there's, there's a bad road or, you know, something, uh, uh, I, I'm, uh, often paddle boarding in the canal and the canal's dirty. There's a bunch of garbage in it and stuff like that. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's one of those things. Um, uh, and it would be nice. Uh, it would be nice kind of, don't you think if they made like an effort in communities to be like this, uh, park bench has been, uh, you know, maintained through the tax money of this uh, community or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and, and I like think that. a lot of this might go a long way. Is is we've we've we assume too much. We 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 assume that somebody assumes that that yes, this pothole was filled in by your tax dollars, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, the other thing is is we we rely on this balance of. The government doesn't do anything for us, but yet I need them to fill in my potholes. Like it's it's this balance of of like uh, oh I don't want to be I don't want to give all of my freedom away from uh, to the government, but yet uh, surely somebody needs to be changing these light bulbs that are that are around now. By all means, maintenance or whatever else that that comes along, but. The, the real problem is, is I think we all question what are our taxes going to? That's that's the biggest issue, I think, is what we've got. I mean, we see and we see in the news, we don't see we don't see. Oh, well, t- uh, uh, these taxes paid for this school as often as we see these taxes paid for this bomb. And I think that may be some of what we're doing here or the or these taxes paid for a payoff for whatever court appeal or something that the government messed up. So we we see all of these Mm -hmm. dollars going out the door for things that we'd go, well, why would anybody even pay for this? But yet we turn around and we don't see the dollars that are actually being spent in the actual community for potholes or for for organizations right and we're in a weird place um uh, where you're actually seeing a lot as i remember uh this story from news for you uh that we were talking about uh domino's franchises were going around and um filling in potholes and also in one instance rod stewart uh, (laughs) filled in a pothole on his street uh because uh, th- wherever they were living was uh, not fixing the roads, and I guess that was one of the things that fell to the wayside in their uh, taxation. Uh, you know, uh, uh, y- using that those tax dollars to repair stuff or allotment or whatever, however you would put it. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's an interesting place because just like you said before, um, uh, in distrusting um, what your taxes are going to. A lot of times, uh, uh, when uh, governments make these decisions to, to you know, basically stop taxing all altogether, um, the, that's what falls to the wayside. The the actual maintenance infrastructure, which uh, we had, we had a good uh, infrastructure bill uh, passed this year, so mm. that's a, a win. Um, and uh, but like Biden was saying, the State of the Union, like. Uh, do you guys not want those checks? Because like, <laughs> we can we can always not send you the money, I guess. Yeah, and but, and, and yeah. even earlier today, it's... we heard somebody talk about um, somebody came on with some great ideas. Flat tax. Uh, I think I'm in favor of flat tax. I got to look at it a little bit more, but I'm in favor of a flat tax. Look, if, that, if that's what we pay, that's what we pay. I don't need to turn around and say, oh, okay, well, I bought. Uh, I bought shoes so I can walk to work. So I'm going to write it off. Like I don't get, I don't get to do that. I don't get to turn around and go, okay, well, I'm a W2 employee. I've got to take the bus. I should be able to write off riding the bus because that's how I make my money. Right. There's a lot of loopholes that W2 employees don't get to do. Um, And then you, you talk about the, the other idea that they brought in was the cap on social security i absolutely believe there should be no cap on social security right now the cap on social security is four hundred thousand dollars if you earn more than four hundred thousand dollars in a year then you aren't then you don't have to pay uh social security above that number if you got rid of that cap 
it would fund Social Security for the next 75 years. Just that alone would fund that for the next 75 years. I, I, I hate to do it, but I'm going to point you over to Bernie Sanders' uh, 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 website for it. That's, that's where you're going to find it. That's where you're going to find that side of it and, and, and things as it goes. But the other website I'm going to point you to is the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. That's cbpp.org. And the, uh, the CP, CBPP, well, that's hard to do without uh, ploding right into the microphone. But the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities uh, did 2023's uh, uh, budget of the federal income tax. Where does it go? What does it do? And so uh, just for a little bit of reference, uh, most of the budget goes towards defense, Social Security, and major health programs. That's what – so you're looking at Social Security, Medicare, and the uh, – uh, the defense budget, which arguably sometimes is considered the offense budget. Um, but then you turn around and you say economic security programs are next. So you're looking at the welfare side that's not Medicare and Social Security. You're looking at the other economic programs where veteran benefits and federal reser- federal retirees are also part of that as well. The pension program uh, for that side. Interest on debt comes in at a uh, 10% as well. So education at four, transportation at two, national resources and agriculture at one, science, medical research at one, law enforcement one, international aid at one, and all others at 4%. Anything else that doesn't fit in those categories are sitting at the four percent for it again center on budget and policy priorities i'm not making up these numbers this is just where they go so um of that i think that's where a lot of people turn around and go okay well um i don't like where this money this particular side goes this goes right here i need you guys to start funding things that i care about as opposed to the i i guess when you see something paid for, I turn around, I give you some money, you give me a product. That's that's there. I can instantly evaluate the value of the money that I gave out. Now, if you constantly vote for people who constantly don't have your best interest in mind and they're constantly spending your money that you don't have anymore, that's where I think this animosity is coming from, Ben. Yeah, no, I mean, it. you could simply wrap it up to that people don't like taxes. They're paying yeah. the money. That, that people enjoy refunds. So mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, if you're in the refund category, you're, you're in like uh, tax, <laughs> tax season is no big deal. And uh, it's, it's a nice thing. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's one of those uh, super annoying uh, parts of life that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's a tip takes money to make money and this and that uh, nostalgia or uh, uh, saying uh, so it's uh, it's an unfortunate um, just reality I think uh, that yeah the resources like the uh, uh, cbpp dot mm-hmm. org is a, a pretty cool thing to have out there and kind of track uh, what everything's going towards and yeah I, I think really at the end of the day um, people get most upset about their taxes in times like this when there's um, terrible things going on mm-hmm. in, around the whole world and uh, policy. If, if you're not happy with uh, what the president's doing or what really the state of uh, business, the economy and everything, and no matter who's the president. That's it. We got to check and see. We're just going to get a little bit of commercials here for just a moment. We'll be right back after this. How to prevent Medicare scams. My best advice, if you get a phone call, do not talk to the person. These people are well-trained. Don't talk to them. They don't know me. They're just trying to scam me. Don't be fooled. Hang up. 
Just hang up. Never give out your Medicare number. They're going to get your number to put in a false claim. If I get a call from someone, I don't pick up the phone. And should I pick up the phone and they ask for information, then I hang up. How do you detect Medicare fraud? Just like I check my credit card statements, I check my Medicare statements monthly. Scammers can get a hold of your number, order medical devices through your account, and you're not even going to know about it if you don't look at your statement. Check your statement every month. If you get your statement and you see something that you know you did not have done, you report it. Call your senior Medicare patrol. To report Medicare fraud, call the senior Medicare patrol at 800-699-9043. Golden Corral Buffet and Grill, 154 Gary Avenue in Bloomingdale is open. Golden Corral's legendary Endless Buffet has a variety of delicious favorites and new menu offerings for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Guests can choose from over 150 items, including grilled-to-order sirloin, pork, seafood, as well as old favorites like fried chicken, meatloaf, and mac and cheese. Golden Corral is the only one for everyone. Visit goldencorral.com. If you're not sure what to have for dinner, the Seven Dwarfs Restaurant on the corner of Roosevelt and President in Wheaton has you covered. Their huge menu is sure to satisfy everyone. Enjoy the diner-styled atmosphere that's been serving up tasty food since the 50s. The Seven Dwarfs has lively decor and delicious entrees. They offer a hearty breakfast, plus three or four lunch specials daily. For dinner, it's all-you-can-eat fish on Fridays. And remember to try their barbecue ribs. Visit SevenDwarfsRestaurant.com today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter the time of the day, WRMN 1410 AM is your platform to voice your views, share your stories, and connect with the Valley like never before. We're more than just radio. We're a community conversation that's always live, always local, and always looking for your input. Want to chime in on the drive time deal with Matt McNeil? Got a hot tip for first shift with Marky B? Or maybe you've got a question for one-on-one -on -one with Leah. Now's the time to make your voice heard by calling Studio 14 at 847-931-14. That's 847-931-1410. You can join in the dialogue from wherever you are by commenting on our YouTube live streams at WRMN Radio. Hit the subscribe button to get notified when we go live and bring your comments to the table. It's easy, it's fun, and hey, it's what neighbors do. We talk, we listen, we engage. You're not just the audience, you're part of the show. Call in, comment, and let's make radio interactive. WRMN 1410 AM, where your words are part of our wavelength. From morning coffee to your evening commute, WRMN 1410 AM is here for you. The faithful friend that brings you local news, timely topics, and the friendliest voices in the Valley. Stay informed, entertained, and engaged with our full lineup of shows, streaming all day, every day at WRMN1410.com or on the WRMN app. Wherever you are, we're right there with you. So why switch stations? Stick with the one that has it all. WRMN 1410 AM, your daily companion, your constant conversation. The Triple Berry Cafe of Crystal Lake offers incredible breakfast and lunch options for you, and now the coffee bar is open for you to enjoy. Stop in and enjoy a relaxing cup of coffee in a peaceful setting, and if you're hungry, the Triple Berry Cafe is ready to provide you with homemade goodness. Enjoy omelets, skillets, pancakes, crepes, waffles, and much more for breakfast. Stop in at the Triple Berry Cafe for lunch and enjoy signature sandwiches, burgers, wraps, salads, and healthy options are available as well. Triple Berry Cafe, just off Randall Road in Crystal Lake. Now with a coffee bar. Welcome back to Out to Lunch with WRMN. 1410 AM, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, and the home of radio shopping. Don't forget that you can go to WRMN1410.com 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, 365 and a quarter. Um, at any time, you can shop online. You can sign up for key tags. You can see the entire inventory as it goes. Or during the Redemption Center hours, that would be 12 to three uh you can come down here to the redemption center at 16 douglas uh or call 847-741-7700 and uh you can shop there as well uh matt mcneil is already standing by and then in the evening 
from three to six, he comes on and talks more about the deals, the daily deals as they come. I believe the daily deals for today, let me pull them up. Maybe I've got my screen, maybe I don't. Let me see if I can pull it up right now. Screen, radio shopping, and here it is. That's the daily deal. So if you spend $15, you unlock the $2 list, Freddy's Frozen Custard, Kay and Joe's Eats and Sweets, Nick's Pizza, Village Pizza, Vinny's Pizza, Mama Lee's Popcorn, Rediscover Records, all kinds of different $2 uh, things that you can get after spending the 15 and of course, bingo cards with every $10 purchase. Game day is going to be April 26th. Bingo begins at 10 a.m. Uh, I believe the pot has risen to 150 Every month we add $75 to the pot. If somebody wins it, they take it. If they do not, it carries over. And guess what? It carried over. So we've got $150 for the person who wins the bingo. And that's where you've got to go now to get that bingo card. You get that with every $10 purchase. Benjamin, thank you very much for being here with me today. I want to keep talking taxes, buddy. Absolutely. It's tax day. What other time yes. do we get to talk taxes? Tax extravaganza today. That's the special <laughs> special day. Um, yeah, it, it's apt. It's apt, man. There's a there's not a whole lot else going on. It's tax day is a Monday. Uh, it's super nice outside. So just mm -hmm. if you're hopefully everyone's got all their taxes done, and uh, after, right uh, promptly after listening to our program as you do daily. Um, you you should go outside and enjoy the uh, the the beautiful weather. Doing something fun outside. That's it. And if you're you're not sure what you're doing with taxes, make sure you file that extension. That will kick the can down the road until October. Uh, if you owe, you owe right now. That's the problem with kicking the can down the road. Is people forget that if you owe, you know, no, no, you owe today. You, you, you don't owe in October. You can't turn around and kick the can down the road if you owe anything. If you owe, you got to pay today, regardless of what you've extended at that point. The so, unfortunate thing, the unfortunate thing too, is it's really hard to um, pay in installments, or at least like I, I tried to even like you know, reach out to the IRS and be like, hey, can I just like you know, pay in installments? And you never heard back from him. Like, you know, it's just probably you know, in someone's inbox or mm -hmm. so nobody's inbox. Who knows? But um, uh, super hard to do that. And it's almost to the point where you have to pay for a service if you want to do, uh, yeah, an extension or a payment thing. Mm -hmm. Like to do it on your own, it's going to take you the better part of a, a work day to figure out your taxes and get all set. So that's the big part of anxiety of, of being... Uh, your own uh, tax prepare, preparer um, is that mm. it's there's a lot of stuff and it's just tedious, annoying paperwork. But um, and they don't make it easy. It's like uh, the like the old meme um, that you see out on, on around tax season, where it's the government um, makes you do homework. They know <laughs> they know how much taxes you owe, but you have to figure it out too. And if you're wrong, then they could. Uh, uh, sue you or whatever throw would, you in jail would you so. would you like taxes better if they sent you a invoice like at the end of the year they turned around and like at the or i guess at the beginning of the year they just turned around and said here's your invoice for your taxes if you want to dispute it fill out these forms and dispute it for anything else but would you would you just assume that like yeah okay that's close and just just pay it off or would you it's fight it every year yeah, in, in a lot of countries, it is uh, set up to be that way. Um, and yeah, I think I would I would be one of the people who was like, uh, you know, able to uh, shave off a little of the uh, the tax, you know, tax uh, stuff. But uh, yeah, if if it was just that way, it would be so much simpler. And um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's I uh, that. it's it's insane uh, the the amount of. Um, uh, litigation how much it like gums up the system with people with tax fraud and uh, it's it's like they're banking on that kind of thing it's a, it's a weird um, part of the our tax system 
is because the onus is on us to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's kind of like money making sector. So it is what it is. Uh, that's why it's always best to, to get that get set up to have a refund and you know uh, do your best with your uh, your own tax preparation and definitely don't be fraudulent. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's it, it's understandable why people are so against and and, and uh, in awe of the uh, the Trump method of just get out of doing as much as you can because it's it's an annoyance it's it's like but it it's kind of like saying um well no one should should have to clean their room because i have a maid who does it you know like mm-hmm. okay that's it's a, a a crazy uh argument it's not not everybody has uh enough uh capital to to hire a maid service to be uh you know cleaning their they not everyone's richy rich mm-hmm Basically. Well, and even then, yeah. when you have a maid that, you... that takes it, what if your maid sweeps it under the rug and then has to serve more time in uh, Rikers? Sure. Yeah, no, th- that would be the, the Trump's maid would probably be that in that yeah. category. Uh, but, yeah. It's, so that's... This is what you get with a tax <laughs> like special with, with uh, yours truly. <laughs> so no. <laughs> that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do is just a little bit of brevity. Maybe uh, one of those things where you are going to feel bad that you actually spent this money on it. But this is what your taxes have paid for. These are the things that your money has gone out into the world to pay for it. Um, I hope it wasn't your dollars that went out. But some of these things are a little crazy uh proving that gingerbread houses are earthquake proof a one hundred and fifty thousand dollar grant from the institute of museum and library services funded a workshop called how does the cookie crumble the oregon museum of science and industry took gingerbread houses designed to be earthquake resistant and put them to the test on machines that replicated major tremors Participants got to take their sweet, sugary houses with them. The workshop was part of the OMSI's annual Gingerbread Adventures Week. So your taxpayers, uh, uh, that's federal. Federal money went to, the, went to that right there. Uh, federal money. Uh, is, is makes put, you feel good. That, that seems like... <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this we also needed, I guess, uh, because AI just needs, these, uh, needs to be trained. But your tax dollars paid for computers to binge watch hundreds of hours of television. Um, this, the program, which was funded by a $460,000 grant from the National Science Foundation and other funds from the Department of Defense's Office of Naval Research, way to go Navy, was designed to train computers to both understand and predict human behavior. The results were inconclusive, but good news is that the computers are all caught up on their favorite shows. (laughs) Yeah, chat GPD is at the point where now it's just enjoying all the media that we uh, we filter into it. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. This is all from Yahoo Finance. You can find it out there, uh, finance.yahoo.com. Uh, Proving that frat brothers like to party, the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism used a $5 million grant to fund a study at the National Institutes of Health on the revealing habits of college students. The study revealed that anyone who went to college could tell you for free Members of fraternities and sororities drink more on average than the larger university population. This is especially true on days of big sporting events. Yeah, $5 million to discover that. Science. <laughs> science. Follow the science. I, I'd rather put five million into the gingerbread uh, <laughs> initiative. <laughs> That's well, that's the part of it. Like when you try to have an argument with somebody and you're like, well, prove it. Where's the study that that frat brothers love to love to part? Like, what are you talking about? I just look I just look <laughs> up and I go, oh, the sky is blue. Yeah. OK, thank you. Like I've done my own personal mm-hmm. research. That's what people mean when they say I've done I've done my own research. That's 
like exactly like how it's like buying a receipt for something that you like like you need like like thanks for the stick of gum here's the receipt type of thing like like i bought the the gum why am i supposed to prove that that the gum was purchased i have it right here in my hand i don't need a scientific research study to tell me that fraternities like to drink nasa research on how religious groups would respond to aliens ben we paid tax dollars on that your tax dollars help nasa examine how the world's religions might react if humans made contact with extraterrestrial life forms the center of theological inquiry that's a real place. I'd like to work for the Center of Theological Inquiry. That'd be a pretty cool job. Used a 1.1 million grant from the NASA Astrobiology Institute. Um, astrobiology, we've only found single-celled organisms out there. I don't think we need an entire large department that can give away $1.1 million to something different. Uh, study potential reactions by religious leaders and populations into the hypothetical future discovery of life beyond earth and how it could influence their beliefs about the origins and the meaning of life. Ooh. Is that necessary, Ben? No one, no one ever expects the uh, theological inquisition. So, you know, it's a, <laughs> The Theological Inquiry it's, Society. Yeah, okay. just... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an interesting um, thing. Like we, we speak of uh, uh, being uh, institutions which are not taxed, tax free churches, um, mm. and that. But we're spending money on figuring out how they would react to aliens. Like, come on, bud. Let them. Wh why do we have to throw more? Throw more onto the gingerbread initiative. As, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, man, gingerbread houses and their. Uh, uh, sanctity or whatever you want to call it. Uh, their, uh, are their, their, their earthquake uh, security. Yes. Uh, speaking of it's, earthquakes it's and the global side of it, NASA research on the effect of global warming on wine. NASA participated in an eight, uh, $88,000 study that examined the effect of global warming on wine in France some of the best vintages in history have come out of France in recent years, and scientists believe there is a connection between increased temperatures and a more robust, flavorful wine. The study combined modern data gathered by satellite imagery with historical data, like records kept by French monks who controlled vast vineyards near monasteries dating all the way back to 1300. Um, making sure that that top priority, that that wine, making sure it's uh, good to go. By wine, yes, <laughs> the, in France, that's all about. Uh, yeah, wine is good, so uh, that's that's a plus. You gotta you know uh, keep keep wine uh, regulated, I guess. When people talk about Again, defunding the FBI, Ben, I'm sorry. Go ahead. These are kind of blowing me away that all these are uh, categories. <laughs> Interesting. I would have never thought of this. stuff. Somebody is. Somebody's making sure that they, they spend your money uh, the way it goes. That's, that's it. Because that's, here's what I always tell my students, too, is non-for-profit does not mean not for money. So the United States is supposed to be not for profit or non-for-profit, right? The, the United States government can't possibly make uh, uh, make a profit, right? That doesn't mean it's not for money. It just means that they've got to spend every single dollar that you give them. And of course, when you spend every single dollar that I get, then I got to turn around and say, hey, I spent every dollar I got. Can you give me two more? That's the way it works. Mm -hmm. uh, how about this? Everybody wants to defund the FBI nowadays. It seems to be the cool thing to do. Um, I'm not so sure about it. Uh, FBI investigative publicity and public affairs unit exists solely to ensure that any film tv show or book featuring the fbi gets the details right this unit costs taxpayers a staggering 1.5 million dollars annually 
There's an entire unit dedicated wow. to uh, uh, to searching for all of the TVs and videos in every doghouse, outhouse, uh, schoolhouse that's out there. Interesting. How's yeah. that gig, bud? It's uh, yeah. People, yeah, people uh, uh, like to to make fun of the FBI uh, a lot. You see it in the news, especially on the the right side. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it it's uh, hard to argue <laughs> against some of the things, man. Some of the the, the crazy initiatives, but yeah, it, it's it goes hand in hand with uh, with everything. Um, as far as uh, uh, government uh, uh, government programs and uh, all that, uh, you know, the the way that it is with the legality and the departments and all this, the the fun extra fun stuff. Uh, the good thing is that. Um, you know, we're, we're all on the, the same team. I, I think it's weird when people uh, suspect so much out of um, out of these uh, government uh, programs and, uh, you know, stuff. If, if you're it's it's like uh, I would uh, in, uh, compare it to um, the kind of uh, camaraderie or uh, stuff that servicemen have. Like you talk about it all the time. The Marines and the, the Navy have jokes in the Army and the. Air Force have jokes uh, between themselves, mm. and that—that's what these uh, uh, different um, uh, government agencies <laughs> uh, really, really are at the end of the day. Um, but it's funny how they get uh, separated like that when people are just end up in a room calling each other fascists or commies, and that's just always how it shakes up. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, not surprised that they have insane um, uh, programs. If you looked into the history with J. Edgar Hoover and all that stuff. It's yeah. Uh, yeah, it's par for the course, and again, uh, maybe a little surprised with the, the that's the what my my tax dollars are going towards. I thought it was, uh, black and white, really terrible stuff for mm-hmm. fixing potholes. Yeah, well, that's what you you would hope. I mean, how many potholes can one point one million dollars a year fill, um, in certain places? Um, the biggest one that mm-hmm. I. Here's let's get let's get one more before we get out of here. And this one will be a bit more complicated. So now people do consider this a little silly, but, you know, it's back to an entire industry needs to be supported. Right. You talk about the the, the tax people and the CPAs and, and everybody else who still needs. I mean, you make taxes easy, then you, you blow out an entire industry. Well, um, the biggest one for me, and I know this is going to be a uh, pretty controversial side to it, especially in the region, um, subsidizing massive agricultural corporations. Um, And I'm not talking mom and pop side. I'm talking about all the money that goes to Monsanto and everything else for it. Agricultural uh, uh, subsidies were designed to support farmers during a time when vast numbers of Americans worked in agriculture, particularly during and after the Dust Bowl era and Great Depression. Today, however, the number of farmers has dropped significantly, but the agriculture lobby is as big as ever, and the federal government doles out tens of millions of tax dollars the vast majority of which go to the biggest companies for marketing, insurance, research, and to simply overproduce. You ever wonder why there is corn syrup in everything that you eat? It is because the government pays to overproduce corn. And what are they going to do? They got to burn it in the street like they did in the, uh, the Depression to raise the numbers up? No. They're going to subsidize the sugar because sugar is harder to produce and doesn't take, uh, and, and big sugar just takes over all of Florida anyway. But essentially, all of the things that have the corn syrup in it, that's why, because the government continues to subsidize corn. I'm sorry if you are one of those small farmers and that's what you get to overproduce, but why turn around and let Kellogg and Monsanto and Nestle and everybody else continue to eat up money that could easily go to feed and house or do something to better or fill in potholes. Right, Ben? That's your money. We don't need an extra pair Um, of corn. 
highly fructose is uh, the the corn syrup, and it's yeah, it's it's terrible. It's the number one uh, ingredient in so many things. If you uh, nutritionally uh, educated, you know how to read labels and ingredients. the The first thing that you see on the list is the most of what is in that product, and for most um, uh, things that are sugary. <clears throat> Excuse me, or um, other type of stuff uh, that's like, you know, you wouldn't even think of it. Just uh, the other other products. High fructose corn, corn syrup is number one in in so much of it, and it's not good for you. Mm-mm. It's um, uh, the number one uh, precursor to uh, pre diabetes and diabetes, I'm sure. Um, and uh, yeah, cane sugar is a lot better for you. Um, so if you could find the natural stuff, go ahead and. Uh, do that but at the same time it's a, it's the the food pyramid the top of the pyramid you really don't need uh sugar or any of that stuff at all um it's funny funny enough i just saw um this uh very old advertisement um from the sugar uh straight up sugar companies uh, mm. before high fructose uh, before those times um at, where it was like uh take a spoonful of sugar to curb your appetite it's like only one spoonful of sugar will uh you know before dinner will it's, it's only like you know, whatever 50 calories and uh it'll <laughs> curb your appetite so that you only eat uh two uh, whatever like half as much as you normally would it's like sugar is a, a great uh, energy boost <laughs> all of the sugar to stave off those hunger it's like Mary yeah, Poppins, they, right? Is you take it with your with your sugar. The medicine spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, like anything in life, uh, there's a lot of stuff out there that's bad for you, and uh, you, you when you overdo it, though, like I feel like the anxiety of making sure you don't eat any high fructose corn syrup, mm-hmm. it kind of counteracts like bad it is if you drank a bunch of uh you know stuff with high and high fructose corn syrup so it's yeah. like anything in life it's a balance you know you high fructose corn syrup is not the enemy but and it's actually pretty delicious but uh you just got to watch out you can't be uh, chugging chugging the high fructose all the time uh yeah you can't it's, and to close out the how, how life. close out the show we'll end up with something a little bit funnier a $99,000 outhouse. Visitors to Alaska's Denali National Park can use a very expensive outhouse that costs taxpayers a staggering $99,000, while Rustic Restroom itself only costs $10,000. The remaining $89,000 was spent on shipping and other costs after the Interior Department contracted with a local business that ordered it from Oregon manufacturer, resulting in an outrageously overpriced outhouse was the delivery to take it all the way to Alaska instead of just buying it, you know, in Alaska. So, I love that. Hey, I, I, Alaska, going to Alaska is a beautiful sight. So, like, I'm happy for that port But how long did it take you to a... get to Alaska? That's the issue. Is is how long does it take you to get there? Yeah, so they sent it obviously it was a truck or yeah, they didn't like put it on a I guess. Uh, I, it's just trunk. it's just crazy, man. But anyway, thanks for being here with me, Ben. I appreciate you spending your tax day with me too. That's it. You've been listening to Out to Lunch, WRMN, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, the home of radio shopping. More radio shopping to come later on today, WRMN1410.com. And, of course, the drive time deal with Matt McNeil, 3 to 6 p.m. First shift with Marky B starts at 6 a.m. every day. Don't miss out. Lots and lots of things happening at WRMN. 1410 we'll be back tomorrow with more stuff with the out to lunch stay tuned for straight talk money